Okay, our next uh, trap or lock and breaking technique is going to be an attacker grabbing from the rear. This could, could be over the arms or under the arms or whatever, okay? Or, and again, remember there's hundreds of applications that could be applied here. These are just a few of them. So I'll just uh, empty your mind and I'll let you play to have a little room to, to feel more knowledge and wisdom through your martial arts training. So here we go. The attacker pushes, spins me around, I grab up under the arms, okay? Again, this may look corny, but it works really good. You step out, and as you step out, grab the foot, the leg that's closest. You'll pull that leg out as you squat your rear. You just want to be squatting from here, right there in the side of the leg, not on top of the knee, in the side, keeping the leg straight. As you squat your rear, you'll pull up. Make sure your partner taps if they feel something. And that's very, no, no muscle whatsoever. It was all technique. Grab, we step out to make an opening. As we lean over, grab, pull that lead leg out, squat straight down from here. And just pull up on the ankle area and squat your rear. What you're doing, okay, you're squatting from here. Just put your rear into it as you pull up on the leg. Do not lean back so you You'll be in the reach of the arm of the, of the attacker. And don't lean forward. Equal it out. Good balance as you pull up. Real simple. May look corny looking to you, but it, it works really good. It's a good effective locking and breaking and immobilizing technique. One more time slow. Already getting a tap. Again, you can see where you squatted just a bit. Here, just like that, leg spread and pull up.